All right, guys, we are down here on the 12 corner basement job, and today is truss setting day. You got the 120 and the jib pole. Let's make it happen. As you guys have probably noticed, it is one beautiful muddy mess down here, which is actually where setting trusses with the excavator kind of shines over trying to get a crane truck in here. But first things first, get this girl fired up, let her warm up a little bit, then get the bucket off of her, get the jib pole hooked up, we'll be ready to roll. Alright, this one here is actually a pretty complicated roof system. I like what the basement was when we were here doing it. I'll show you guys the plan here in a minute. Bear with me. They're kind of in a hurry to get started, so get rolling. But we got trusses going all different ways. First things we gotta do is swing around here. We gotta down stock, down stack the truss pile a little bit. First couple trusses we need are a little ways down on the pile. So there we go. you guys can see out there but we need those down there so we got to get the ones off the top so we can get to them so we'll probably just set these you clear these few off the top and we get to what we need and start setting some dresses. You ready or are you going to tackle on it? Uh, yeah, I can throw that tackle on on real quick. It's up to you guys. Ready? Alright, uh, yep, go ahead. Alright, first truss up, up and away. I'm in the truck. I'm gonna have to do something. Yeah, we got the paper
First truss is up. It ain't, huh? <laughs> a little chilly today, but uh, I did not get the film of the first truss. I uh, kind of forgot about the camera. Uh, we'll get the second one on film, but uh, they're nailing it off now. And then uh, should be able to see when he pulls out, that hook should drop right down and he should be able to pull right out of it. All right, here he goes. Coming down with it. Got the hook. We're gonna try it right here. I may have to put it in the center. I wanna see what it picks up like. All right, that picked up pretty good even though it wasn't centered. It, it, really picked up nice and level so probably just gonna keep it hooked up right there I got worked pretty good the only thing I did bad is wrong is I put that hook on backwards which is gonna make it a little bit more of a pain for him to get it out because instead of dropping it and coming back to him he's gonna have to drop it and go away from him and you got the other truss on the other side so I need to remember to hook that the opposite way. Some sort of difference, but 
Anyways, back to the house we go. Alright, I'm proud of uh, Michael today. Uh, blistering cold out here. I think it's like 22 degrees. Uh, but he is running with his door open and wind, windshield up and top roof up. So I, I'm very proud that he's willing to feel the chill with me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of get a video of him coming in and hooking one up. It's so basically got the truss they all stack here. I love these little trusses like this. I think you got a good operator like me to make the ground bail look good. Don't listen to what he's saying. If it wasn't for me, this wouldn't be happening. So I slide the truss back. These little trusses are nice. Now, he'll bring the hook to me. Bring the hook. <laughs> All right, now he wants to play games. I'm sure I want to get it. All right, now I got it. So what I'm doing is I'm going over the top. That's why I did the last one. That way it's easier for him to unhook. I slide it in, hook it like that. From there, it's all his. Looking good, coming on up. Then he'll stand it up, swing it over to me. I'll try to stabilize it a little bit. And it should swing right around just the way he wants it. That way that hook, when he drops out, he can just drop out and bring it right back to us instead of fighting it, so. Setting trusses, guys, um, you gotta have a good ground guy. We're doing a fine job, ain't we, Todd? Excellent. Excellent. Good deal. What do you think? Now we gotta take If it was about 20 degrees warmer, I'd like this a lot better. Yeah. And get out of this mess <laughs> we're <Stop>. walking in. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta take 15 off now. 15 off now? All right, what Todd's talking about is the way they stack these trusses, they keep all the numbers the same. So what we're at is we were at a T1. Now we got more T1s on top. We gotta get rid of them. We gotta unstack 15 of them and then go back and start setting again. So we'll get these unstacked and then we'll get back with you guys. All right, so just unstacking these, what we're doing is we're grabbing four at a time. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a strap on it, choking it, hooking it up. Then I'll get back out of his way just to make sure. And then he'll pick these four up. Todd will grab them for me and take them over and put them in a kind of drier storage area, storing area, staging area. Lay them down, he'll unhook, and then I'll grab some more. You guys can see out there, we got another truss switch coming up. If you remember from the foundation videos, that's the master bedroom. And we got a truss switch when we're coming out over top of the garage here. So I think we're going to set these on out. It's hard to video right here as that sun is just blazing in my eyes. And then uh, we'll head over and we'll start setting on the house.
got one truss left on the garage and then we're gonna have to get resituated and uh, tie into the house so all right he's swinging around now we're gonna pick the last truss up for this run and, and then we start on the main house See how this one picks here. Should pick pretty good. Todd's walking it around. We've been fairly lucky. There ain't been no wind at all, which is great. Um, and these trusses, they are a lot shorter than the last ones we set. So that's the reason we ain't got a uh, pack line on these. They're easy to get to. They're spinning around easy. So uh, we get to the bigger trusses, we may have to put a tag line on. There it is. Well, guys, there we go. We got the uh, master in the garage. We got this into the house set. So we're going to start it. If I think them are all 30 foot trusses, we're going to switch over to some 40 foot trusses. And uh, these are going to start all the way down here on the other end of the house. We're going to start on the uh, far end down there and work our way back so it may be a little bit interesting to see how these all all fit in there but uh start swinging and see what we got you ready yeah you want to try one more or you want to go ahead and do a two point on this one this is a double uh let's do a two point and see how she hangs that one may be a little bit uh which which end goes towards the back of the house that end down there closest to the truck goes to the woods your end closest to you goes to the road yeah, let's do a two-point on this one. This is going to be a little bit tricky because the balance point is going to be on the back side and I'm going to be reaching from the front side, so we may have to finagle. Uh, I set up a, uh, more of a lifting apparatus with two chokes on it. Thinking that might help a little bit. Yeah, that'll definitely help us out. Let me swing over here. We'll just, uh, pick it and see what we got. All right, 10 pull. Here we go, attempt to pull on. Let's see how this thing balances. I think you're gonna have to move your center of gravity down towards me quite a bit, but I'll pick it up and see. Hi, Jim Paul. Yeah, I think you need the uh, one on the the one on the right needs to come over one cavity and the other one needs to come down here to where the the pitch changes to level. Alright, 10-4. Alright, 10-2, you ready? Alright, give it a shot. Got other prints blowing off over here. setting a double right here a little bit heavier we went with a two-point hick pick on it 
I'll walk over there close, then we'll go up and over. All right, 10 4. So we put a tag line on this one. You can see it's a lot longer, it's heavier. So that's why we got the tag line on it. It's just a oblong uh, truss system here. I'm going to go out and away from me first, you guys can't see nothing up there but that first one is set that is the girder truss that is the heavy one we pretty much know what we need to do for rigging now our rigging worked out very very nicely so we're going to swing back around grab two or three or more of those and uh, away we go
all the level I got right there. You what? But that's about all the skill and talent I got right there. probably already noticed by now we've had a couple different truss changes in there but we're out of here, here over top of the living room now we're going to start uh, hammering down through there pretty quick hopefully but uh, man the last three or four times I've set trusses you guys have seen the videos I have done them with the Volvo and this machine is so much better the, 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 the controls are so much smoother it's not as fast which is good in this situation but uh, just so much more controllable uh, so much smoother but the big thing is this machine has got 12,000 hours on it and this thing don't hardly really bleed off at all so whenever I swing up there and set a truss like this it'll stay there for 15 20 minutes I'll let him get more on this, uh, this truss here and I'll have to pop off all right 10 4. but uh, that Volvo uh, I'm constantly fighting it trying to keep it up tight on there it, of course neither one of these machines have line locks on them but uh, 
we're getting down through there. We are on, uh, we just made our last truss change, so we should be able to start hammering them out pretty quick. So, so far, so good. getting this boom and this machine positioned just right so I got to kind of track and curl and boom and do it by whoop hang on oh, missed it. I know you guys probably can't see I'll get you a shot here in a minute got to make about six movements at once I'm able to kind of go up and over part of them and just kind of sit them down in there and swing and walk them at the same time Guys, here's where it's getting real tight. You got the trusses for the garage in the back part of the house here, and then you got the trusses here. So it's getting a little bit tighter to bring them in. It's kind of got to go up and over and then bring it in right down through there. All right, can Todd pull down on the tail end? Right there, there you go. Now ease it down, right there, yeah.
looking good right like that keeping the distance pretty good between the trusses so it looks good keep on walking it in keep on coming I come down just a hair. I hold that. Now, can you walk in anymore? Looking good. Can you come more? All right, hold that. give you guys a view from the outside going in how tight this gets kind of can see here what we're having to do because of the garage trusses there are running an opposite way is how he's got to go up and over and then drop it down the hole. Which after my good guidance, I think he is doing a little better. Things go real smooth when you listen to me. inside looking good coming on in Could be tight. Ain't no hill for a climber though. Yeah, that one looks that one looks real good right there. At first I didn't think you paid yourself a compliment. <laughs> Alright, we'll go back out here. We've got the last trust to set. We've got some little ones to fly up to them. They ain't bad at all. Um, they're uh they're just some little ones over there, so they'll be able once we get blown up, they'll be able to do what they gotta do by hand. Todd, this is the victory truss right here. Yeah, that's what we're yeah, gonna be that nice tight one. All right, Michael, on this one here, uh, I'm gonna let you do it on your own. Let you try it and see how you do. Uh, all the guidance I've gave you, I think you got it down, bud. That's right, you better stay silent. Yeah, I'm just telling you everything not to do, so I'm right now this one. <laughs> oh boy. I would have brought my glasses i'd be more than willing to try looking good you may have to go a little towards the garage there you go i forgot 
I'll be quiet. I'm gonna let you do this one by yourself. I just wanna give you one tip. You just gotta keep walking it like you're doing right along them garage trusses. see that last truss it is a tight one all right keep on coming all right there it goes uh come on in a little bit more I'm not, we're upset. All right, hold that. You want me to bump him down a little bit? Or is it setting down on both ends? Setting down on both ends. All right. Take an inch. You can do it. You keep going. No, it's. I'm picturing Mother and Yard Can or something. I can tap it. That's about it. All right, 10 4. That's it for sure. All right, guys, that's the last truss. There it is, guys. We got that last one in there. There is a couple trusses here that make up the uh, yeah. couple trusses here that make up some gables yeah. and some decorative uh, parts. And that's the corner of the hips there. Uh, they're thinking they're just going to set those by hand. They want to get some more framing and some other stuff in before we do that. So we're going to park the 120 up. This thing works absolutely awesome. It is such oh, it's so nice that trust with this versus the other one. And it's not that I hate the Volvo, guys. I don't hate the Volvo. It's a good machine. Over there on that basement where we're digging right now where it's at, I would much rather have the Volvo on the job than this one. Uh, each machine just got its place, and I'm, I'm learning that as I go. But uh, I'll tell you what, I think I got the drone here. We're going to pop the drone in the air, and uh, we'll finish this video off with a few drone shots. So let's go flying. Well guys, there you have it. That's what it looks like at the end of the day after we are all said and done. There is several more details of this roof that will actually have to be hand framed in over the next day or so. This homeowner here seems to be very receptive to the uh, YouTube videos. You guys always ask me if I can get some follow-up videos and uh, some follow-up shots on pictures or on projects. I do try to get some of that and put it on my Facebook and Instagram page. So you guys may want to go there and check that out of some past projects. I post some pictures up, but hopefully I'll be able to get, uh, hopefully I'll be able to come back and get some video of this house after it's all said and done. But that's it for now, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, we shall catch you guys on the next one.